Hey everyone! Clementine? Clementine! No, I am not Clementine. I am Team UDF. Research extraordinaire. And we're finally back to LPing after me trying and failing at the summer 2013 ZC quest contest thingamajig. I am still going to finish the game, but it'll be like a three-week personal challenge or something. I don't know. So we've got Clementine's hat here. Oh. Oh, dang. Ah, she's probably just hiding. Wait, we have a walkie-talkie. No, do we? It's suppo there's supposedly one in our inventory, but uh, I don't know. Whatever. Crap. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Get out of here. Don't want any of that. Oh, it is hers. Oh, no. There's blood on her cap. Oh crap. No. 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 Oh, fuck. Lee? Lee? You out here? Lee. Oh, snap. I had wondered if this was going to turn into a a holy sacrifice what game. What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Wow. Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. We've got to be realistic here. Either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? <laughs> no way. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Drugs. Lots of drugs. No, okay, I don't know. Uh, we may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? I mean, I've only killed half You're our team. You're responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. I love how we have... Settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. I love how we. Yeah. What are we waiting for? I'll get it later. I appreciate it, really. Do I have time? Can I? No. 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 You've always no. been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys. We should go find Vernon. See if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? So I know this can be attributed to how much we've helped the other characters and how we're in the middle of everything, but it is amusing how we have plot armor. And if if we're bitten, and everyone's like, oh. Well, Let's go, Lee. Let's go. Let's go do something else. And as soon as someone else was bitten, it's like kill him instantly. I, I know it wasn't consistently like that, but still, it's just kind of funny to see that going on here. Was that achievement called Pen Ultimate? I didn't. I didn't catch that. I don't know. Actually, am I recording in full size? I'll be right back. Sure am. Let's continue. It's good to be back and already forgetting things. Uh oh. What? They're gone. Wasn't this like the hell are they? their safe haven or something? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here. There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. No, oh, I thought we were in control. We're not.
Wait, what? Oh. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Wait, how does she have a son of a bitch? Oh, snap. Ah. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. <laughs> Was a weird ending. Does it even matter then? Okay, let's see. The boy in the attic. Did you kill the boy in the attic? I don't remember. Oh, that was with... Okay, I remember that one. Okay. Did you lie or threaten Vernon? We were rational. Oh, that's good. Did we bring Clementine? Wow, a lot of people brought her. Did you let Ben fall to his death? Yeah, I'm not too surprised that I'm in the minority there. That was one I... I don't know. I, I kind of felt like thinking about it more afterwards, but... Spur of the moment, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. And the bite reveal. And we were pretty honest. That's good. I don't have to... Have to... What? Who came with you? Huh. It's possible to, like... I'm not sure what that means. Interesting. Who are we missing? Oh, Ben. Derp. So it's possible to only have... Huh, maybe loyalty did play a part in... Know. Kind of mixed feelings. It seems like everyone's saying they're pseudo choices, but then I see things like that. I don't know. Most of them are pseudo choices, though. Uh, let's cut the footage here and get to episode five, the last episode. Actually, no. Let me talk more about episode four, I guess. No. I don't know. We'll do it in the intro. You know, something random I just noticed is they didn't do a next time on thing. They usually like. I mean, that's that's kind of a technique you can use to. Oh boy. Kind of a technique you used for the last episode of something, but I don't know, it's pretty interesting that they adhered to it as well in this video game. Also, something else I, I kind of noticed, those, those credits, there are like so many zombie voices in this game, it was actually pretty hilarious. I was expecting it to be like five or six people, and the list just keeps going and going and going, holy crap. So episode four was pretty interesting. There were a... I noticed in the latter half of the game here, there seemed to be... On the walking dead. Oh, we don't need this. There seemed to be a lot of one-shot characters. I don't know. I'm home and I'm not there. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. <gasps> hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. So something yeah, else... You can have some too. That was back in episode two. Oh, I get the significance of it, though. should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. So, like... Yes, that's it! Something I'm starting to wonder about here. Come into town from the railroad, Were you? our choices we gotta go! mattering in that Clementine was telling this random guy yeah. everything we were doing? I'm Clementine? very curious about that. Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? A good friend now, I'm just kidding. Clementine. Because that could be, like, that could be possible. We're like, well, Clementine is randomly talking into this walkie-talkie. We think it's pretend conversation, but she's actually telling some random strange guy how, like... Not how, but every little thing we're doing. And that plays into... I don't know. <laughs> so I'm actually understanding this style more, though, where your choices can matter... Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh, interesting. This is the opening as well. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch. Cody. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tongue. So I was going to play our choice now. Fine. But if 
Want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping league. Uh. Then what is it? A rescue. Oh, snap. That was pretty that was pretty cold. That was a low blow, man. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. It hangs Don't nowhere, worry. but who cares? We'll get her back. So the whole suit, I don't think I have time to, like, get out my thoughts on this. I'll just wait. So the whole maybe I do. So the whole pseudo choice How's that. that dang it! <laughs> it doesn't matter. It is what it is. We don't have much time. Also, where did this plot device horde come from? We'll all make sure nothing gets here. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Oh, I'll have time during this probably. Okay, so the whole pseudo-choices thing, I'm getting that it's not really pseudo-choice, more so, I think. Damn. I was kinda hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Instead, it could probably be a different style of writing where the choices matter immediately, but they still don't affect the ending. And most people, when they, when they think of this kind of open gameplay, they want everything to affect the ending. I can understand that, but I'm, I'm trying to look from a different perspective at the kind of different writing styles that could be going on here. Oh, hey! Multi-tool! Rib spreader. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Yes, you do. Okay, so it looks like this villain figure is gonna try and swap it on us. Just some surgical supplies. Make it seem like we're the bad guy, he's the good guy. Hmm. Well, you didn't close any of the others, why bother with that one? This is silly. No, I'm just kidding. I was gonna say, that sounded like a zombie. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One. Two. Oh, snap. Welcome to Lee Ponage Calm. No? No Lee Ponage? No Lee Ponage Calm? Uh-oh. So I know there's no explanation on how this virus thing works, but like... It's... I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe... Uh, probably not, because then... Because then they have to stick with a specific explanation, and people might not okay. like it. So maybe they're trying the riskier... Riskier strategy of... Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. There's blood. If he dies. Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Ugh. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, Crap. we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. Are we really gonna have to decide this? What do you think? Or do we back out? Uh. Wow! Wow! Ah! <laughs> it sure is. Cut it off. 
Seriously. Yeah. We might as well see how this goes. It's the more intriguing of the two, obviously. I know. Ah, oh, man. Let's see. Don't get too high, okay? Just get through the thinnest part you think is best. It was easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Hmm. Oh man, this is, I don't know. You got ah! Ah! Try to stay still. Ah! 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 Fuck. Got to tighten We've we've, we've committed. Ah! Oh, we've committed. Okay, so in shock now, probably. And there goes the rest of the arm. You could hear the crunching. Fuck. The only thing I'm thinking about here is now we only have one arm to defend ourselves with. That's like the most Holy I think this will. I don't know. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. I can't wait to see the percentage for that one. Holy crap. Oh, what the hell did we do? Oh, uh, Jesus, this hurts so goddamn bad. I hope it helps. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. But there's no time left. Oh, you got the rim shot. Okay, now. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. So that plot armor I was talking about. The rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. So like now we have trouble defending ourselves, but at the same time, it's possible it could work. And Jeez. I don't know. I'm not sure. I played to my Lee's character there. It's possible. See if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You know, I probably did. It's possible for you. My Lee, I guess, would lose his arm. The way I've been having him go. He's been trying like every little thing to keep okay, stable. Remember, quiet. It's no big deal. Oh. <sighs> Just get in the way. Jesus Christ, Lee. Ah! Hmm. W. Oh. Uh. Damn it. That was fucking close. Everything okay up there? Oh, just fucking peachy. Weird segment. Oh. Now I'm good to go. <laughs> oh, it looks so odd. I know it's meant for shock value and they're they're trying to get you invested more. I actually don't think they needed to use that trick, but it does work. I mean, the setting is very appropriate. What the? Oh my god, it's the room of copy-pasted zombies. Why are so many in one room? Eh, who cares. See, we're not the villain figure. We cut our arm off. Our arm off? Our arm off. Also, was that band on his arm before? Did they just draw that on there so they wouldn't have to, like, redraw if we chose one way or the other? Uh, and I'll look back at it later. We're just about out of time, and I've got a good break spot, so I'll see you next time for more Walking Dead. Interesting stuff already in Chapter 5, Episode 5, rather. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!